Before we proceed further, let's have a brief overview of what is JSX and why do we use JSX instead of normal HTML tags in React. This is the home component of our React application. Now, a component is nothing but a function which returns some JSX code. So, this markup which you see, this is not HTML. This is JSX and JSX stands for JavaScript XML. Usually, we cannot write HTML inside a JavaScript file. If you notice, this file is index.js. So, it has this .js extension. That means this is a JavaScript file which should contain a JavaScript code. And in JavaScript file, we cannot write HTML. If we want to write some HTML in a JavaScript file, we need to wrap it within quotes. That means we need to write that HTML markup as a string value in a JavaScript file. But here we are able to write some HTML in JavaScript file without wrapping it within quotes. Right? We are not wrapping this HTML looking syntax inside any quotes. And this is because this markup which you see here, it is not HTML, it is JSX. And as I mentioned, JSX stands for JavaScript XML. Now, when we run this JavaScript file in the browser, browser do not understand JSX. Browser only understands HTML markups or JavaScript. So this JSX code which we are writing here, it first needs to be converted into a regular JavaScript code. That means there must be some transformation step involved before rendering this JSX into the browser. And indeed, there is one transformation step involved here. Basically, when this JavaScript file will run in the browser, first this JSX code will be compiled to JavaScript code. So a compiler like Babel, which is a modern JavaScript compiler, it takes the responsibility of converting a JSX markup into plain JavaScript code before the JavaScript code is rendered in the browser. Now, the question is, why do we need JSX? Why don't we use regular JavaScript instead? We cannot use HTML here because this is JavaScript file and in JavaScript file, we cannot write HTML code. Right. So if we cannot write HTML, at least we can write JavaScript here and using JavaScript, we can create the elements. That is also possible. But the problem is, instead of using JSX here, if we use JavaScript, then this single line of code will be written in multiple lines. So if I have to write this single H2 element using JavaScript, in that case, what I will have to do is, first, I'll have to create this H2 element using JavaScript. Let me actually show you that. So let's create a variable. Let's call it H2. And here, let's go and let's create an H2 element. For that, we can say document.create element. So using the create element, we can create an HTML element in JavaScript. And here we want to create an H2 element. Then for that H2 element, we want to set this text as its text content. So for that, we will say h2 dot text content equals. And we are going to pass this value as a string value. OK, and then we can simply return that h2 element. So let's comment this code for now. So in this way also, in this JavaScript file, we can go ahead and we can create HTML elements like we are creating this h2 element. But as you can see, to render a single H2 element, we have to write this three line of code. But using JSX, we can achieve it in a single line of code. And that's why we prefer to use JSX instead of plain JavaScript for creating and rendering HTML elements in React. Another advantage is when we use JSX, we can also write JavaScript expressions within the JSX markup. So for example, Let's say after this text, I want to show the sum of 2 plus 5. And then here I want to write a JavaScript expression. So for that, I can simply use a set of curly braces like this. And inside that, I can write any JavaScript expression. I can write arithmetic expression like 2 plus 5. I can call a function here. I can use a variable here. So any JavaScript expression can be used using these curly braces within the JSX. If I save the changes here in the output, you will see that the sum of two plus five and then the result of this expression is logged. If I go to the browser and if you go to the home page, you see 
it says sum of 2 plus 5 is 7. So basically, this arithmetic expression here, it has been evaluated and its result has been rendered. So this is another advantage when using JSX. We can write JavaScript expressions within a JSX. Now, one problem with JSX is if you want to return multiple elements, what you will have to do is, for example, let's say from here, I want to return this H2 element. And after that, I also want to return a paragraph element. Now here we have a problem. And this problem is because we cannot return two JSX elements from a component. We can only return a single JSX element. And if you want to return multiple JSX elements, then they must be wrapped within one top level element. So for example, if I want to return this H2 element and this paragraph element, I can wrap it within a single div like this. So inside this div, I will cut this H2 element and this paragraph element and I can put it inside that wrapping div. So we cannot return two JSX elements. So if you want to do that, we will have to wrap it within a single container element. That container element can be anything. Here we are using div as a wrapper element, as the container element. So if I save the changes now, as you can see, there is no error. And now if we go to the browser, we should also see a paragraph. All right. It's also good practice that if you have multiple lines of JSX in your component, then you wrap it within parentheses like this. So this is not mandatory, but it's always a good practice. Another very important point which you need to remember is that JSX is simply XML. It follows XML rule. And therefore, every JSX elements must be properly closed. For example, in HTML, we have some elements which are self-closing. For example, the image element or the input element, etc. But if you want to use those self-closing elements in JSX, then you will have to close it explicitly. Because in JSX, they are not self-closing. JSX simply follows XML rules. And in XML rules, every tag must have a closing tag. Otherwise, you will get an error. So for example, let's say I want to add an input element here of type text, let's say. Now in HTML, this input element is self-closing. But in JSX, it is not self-closing. So you see, when I have removed the closing input tag, we immediately get an error. If I save the changes, we will get a compiler error. You see, we have a compiler error. So in JSX, when you're using JSX in your React application, you must close every tag which you are using. This is very important. And now if I go back, that error should be gone and the application should be compiled successfully. So these are the few important points which you need to remember when working with JSX. Let me go ahead and let me remove this input element from here. So in the next lecture, let's go ahead and let's start implementing the sign up page and the login page for our real time chat application. This is all from this lecture. Thank you for listening and have a great day.